everyone. Welcome to my Wednesday night webinars live from KK's Big Kitchen. We're continuing with these and tonight's episode is going to talk all about liver health and why stubborn weight loss is all connected to a dirty liver. We've surrounded by all this yummy food that supports the liver. So it's no wonder that fresh fruits and vegetables or doing a green smoothie, you'll see um, everything that's in my Creed five day program, why it helps with weight loss so quickly. We're gonna unload some of those secrets. We're going to be making one of my absolute favorite meal prep items. I'll be talking about this in my cookbook coming out, Simple Cooking for Vitality. It couldn't be easier. And we use one of my favorite tools right here. It makes you feel like a genius. And all you gotta do is press a button and use one of these. So, so, so easy. If you caught my feed today, my storyboard on Instagram, you would have seen me preparing. These are my seeded crackers that I make, by the way, so easy, five ingredients. <laughs> oh my God. And delicious, topped with my dandelion green moringa pesto and uh, avocado oh my gosh what a filling delicious dense nutrient treat everything the liver loves so we're going to be always as we do a uh, share a little information i share the screen with you so uh it's just easier for you to visualize then we're going to break i'll come back i'll show you everything that's going into uh our recipe tonight put it together and share some more okay so let's share the screen. Fantastic. Yeah, so dirty blood and weight loss. This is the first of the spring liver health because on March the 20th, this is when the it's the vernal equinox, the spring equinox. And this is the time where a lot of people have a health crisis. It triggers liver gallbladder. The liver is the largest organ, the only regenerative organ. I talk all about it in the first day of my creed program. And uh, it is actually the exact same time last year that uh, all of the COVID cases broke out and went crazy. But it's a perfect opportunity now to empower your health and boost your immune system, especially since more people are at home more often. So um, here, I, I watched an entire summit uh, by Dr. Kelly Halderman. It's on Perfect Storm Detox 2.5. How important is detox? every single day we need to be gently detoxing because every single day our body is doing its own detox it knows how to detox we just have to help it and stop clogging it up and so her whole uh episode was about stubborn weight and that the toxic waste in our body is accumulation that builds up in our tissue and our blood it's stored in the fat and by the way it's suspended in extra fluid to protect us so that's why after just five days in my creed program or when you start doing something that helps to clean up your liver you will gently start to find if you do a juice cleanse you'll see that those love handles start to melt away that is part of it it's not just calorie counting like we thought the killer of every weight loss program is inflammation in the body we have overburdened livers thick bile and bile stasis. This is so common. And why don't mainstream doctors talk about it? I'll tell you why. It's because every single drug, even the over-counter acetaminophen, they affect the liver. Uh, and a fatty liver is a silent epidemic, but it's being kept silent too long. So I'm addressing it completely with all my clients and in the Creed program, dirty blood, thick blood, uh, is also the problem for uh, lack of energy because thick fatty blood does not transport oxygen inflammation what does it come from we're going to go through that chemicalized food processed food sugar refined sugar stress the chemical body and cleaning products that are all around us all those plugins that you have everywhere around the house 
Um, I've gotten rid of all of that, even candles. Shuts down the 2.5 detox pathway that she talks about of the toxins getting out of your body. They got to get into the bile and out and leave the body. That's why the gallbladder is really important, by the way. It stores bile and helps you get rid of it. So yes, the silent killer of all chronic diseases linked to inflammation. So um, this has been talked about for a long time um, from Hippocrates all the way up, Dr. Andrew Weil. He's the uh, founder and pioneer of integrative medicine. Um, but also just so you know, food and inflammation really didn't come into the forefront. In fact, it was not talked about at all um, as being linked to any type of disease. But in 2011, the Nobel Prize was won for innate immune system. So this looked at the chronic activation of the immune system um, and that was inflammation. It was below the perception of pain and what was going on in the body. So a lot of these autoimmune type diseases are all related to inflammation. They're all related to the liver. Um, they're all related to dirty blood, um, along with, of course, our uh, gut inflammation and all that stuff as well. So we're just focusing on the heart tonight. Um, heart disease, fatty liver, type 2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes starts and is linked to liver, autoimmune diseases. So I cover all this with my clients. So what should we be avoiding? Well, you know, unfortunately, all this stuff pictured here just clogs up your liver. Not only that, guys, if you want an immune system that is vibrant, and I started talking about the immune system last year during the beginning of COVID, all conventional sweets and treats and junk. It tastes good for 10 minutes and then it starts to inflame the body, weakens the liver, weakens the spleen, by the way, which is very important. It's the, one of the main organs of your lymphatic system, contributes to stagnant and sluggish lymph. It also crushes your frontline defense soldier cells. That's what we want being strong. With a lot of the uh, you know, a lot of the virus and, and things we want to uh, get rid of are attacked in our attacked by our good soldier cells in the lymph system. So we want it to keep flowing and we want it to be clean. So yep, here's some of the other foods, unfortunately, conventional dairy and all of the gluten products. Now, not only does it cause an inflammatory effect, it's because it feeds the inflammatory response and uh, viruses and uh, which send off neurotoxins in the body. This is a whole deeper conversation, but let's keep it simple. This stuff causes inflammation. And did I used to cook with some of these oils? Absolutely. Do I now? No. And you look at some of the so-called healthy um, foods, snack foods, they're cooked in sapphire and sunflower oil, also inflammatory, unfortunately. So food is information and it's our choice. Everything in front of me and everything I put in my body is nice and clean. So um, let me just show you my program coming up. This is the time of year to detox, just like the fall. The spring is the most valuable time. You coming out of winter, we're supposed to be, you know, building up our gene. It's our it's our time to build up our kidney strength. What my program here helps to ignite your confidence with health empowerment. We're gonna reclaim, reclaim our energy, calming, calm the bloating, jumpstart your weight loss. This is my spring five day energy reset and gentle detox for beginners. Yes, it is time for spring cleaning and uh, your body is waiting for you. I, I know so many people that have new goals and they're just a little timid. That's why this five-day program is so easy to jump into. So I invite you to check it out, to join the program. It's going to be starting March 21st. It's really epic. I get such a great response from it, uh, people's success. But you get e easy, easy daily steps, recipes. I give you how-to videos. Um, this is what you want. You want more vibrant energy. That is the very first things that excite my clients. They feel less pain, less inflammation, and more energy. You want that healthy glow in your cheeks and your face. Weight loss jumpstart. That's right, because the liver opens to the eyes and the skin. You're going to get a new reverence for food and a new vision for your empowered health with that confidence. So, so many testimonials. This is great. Uh, people that have never juiced before, 
find it fascinating. I get them the ins and outs and show them how and why it's different than smoothies. And you want glowing skin, guys and gals, it starts from within always. So we want to breathe in confidence, right? That's it. Yeah, we're going to be creating renewed health cream. That's what we do over the five days. It's really, really simple. It's all about never giving up. It is not about being over 50 and everything goes downhill. Yes, things slow down, but you can take advantage. So if you know what to do, I've got an early bird sign up and make this a no brainer. This is the most affordable thing I offer because I want anyone and everyone who wants to take advantage to get their toe in the water to have a chance. Program is valued well over $800. It ends on March 14th for the early birds. So check it out. And uh, so, what are we talking about tonight? Um, Dandelion Green Moringa Pesto. That's what we're making. Here's what's in it. We're going to go through this Dandelion Greens, fresh basil, first cold pressed virgin olive oil, highest quality you get, highest polyphenols, garlic cloves, fresh squeezed lemon, pine nuts, or walnuts. Gonna throw some new, we're going to throw some surprise Brazil nuts in there and nutritional yeast. So let's stop the share and we're going to go through everything that you're going to be putting in here. Okay, so I put some, I put some other foods here that help to support the liver as well. Definitely carrots, carrots filled with beta carotene. It converts it to vitamin A, a very useful antioxidant within the liver. This happens. And we've got Brussels sprouts here. So all of your cruciferous vegetables, those are important for the phase two portion of your liver detox. And if you hear that they're good for tumor control, that's because the liver is so important, but yes, they are. These all also help to create glutathione, which is the master antioxidant of the body, which is so required for efficient type phase two detox. If that is not efficient, you've got more stuff circulating in your blood radishes they have a special plant compound that helps the liver as well so that's why and you'll see in my book each section the liver section gives you some really useful information about how the liver works and the food that helps it of course dandelion greens we're going to be putting in this in here they have 14 percent more protein and then um i forgot what then uh spinach <laughs> so <laughs> which is great and uh very good usable calcium uh we've got fresh basil all of your herbs have excellent um, phytonutrients these are uh nutrients that help swell the oxidative stress which is oxidative stress destroys the cells so that's what we're trying to calm down of course, lemons. In fact, the lemon rind. I put the entire lemon in my smoothies. The liver, the lemon, the lemon rind are excellent for the liver as well. Um, what else do I have here? Apple cider vinegar. And uh, so, what are we putting in? I'm going to be adding in walnuts instead of pine nuts. Of course, walnuts are excellent for the brain. High in omega threes. Omega threes are the fats that help to lower inflammation. That's why they say take fish oil. Just one teaspoon will have about 1,200 milligrams. And if you've got inflammation, you need a lot. You need a lot to, to bring it down. But food, they find, is very effective in bringing it down. Avoiding the inflammatory foods and adding in the foods that help to bring it down. I'm going to add in a few Brazil nuts. You're getting your selenium in there, which is excellent. Uh, here's something else. Great for the liver. Your, all of your greens, but your collard greens, again, I mean, these are, um, this is red Swiss chard. So, uh, and garlic, garlic again, and onions are excellent, the sulfur forming foods. We're using uh, California Olive Branch, one of my favorite brands of, of high quality olive oil, extra virgin. You do not heat this type of oil. We're not using any cheese. I don't use any dairy at all. Nutritional yeast loaded with extra protein and very good quality. Uh, B12, especially for those people that are vegan and vegetarian. So let's go back to the share. We're going to find out a little bit more, and then we're going to be making this amazing recipe. Okay, so dandelion greens here. Yeah, so 
Some people can't even find them at the store, but these gorgeous ones here pictured are right from Warden Farms. They're very plentiful here and I've been using them a lot. You can juice them. They're a natural diuretic as well. That helps to remove the extra fluid from your tissue, flush it out through your urinary tract. That's one of our areas to get out toxins. That's why we wanna drink lots and lots of water. Keep the toxins flowing out. So here we go. Oh, I already did this. <laughs> so here we go. Um, here's some more food that supports the liver, lemons, grapefruit, raw apple cider vinegar, collard, greens, Swiss chards, chicory, mustard. These are all the bitter greens. Uh, watercress, these are the common ones, arugula, radishes, carrots. They all help create natural production of glutathione. And, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's one of my definite favorites for meal prep. You can use it so many different ways. A spread, you can stuff chicken with it. Um, I use it as a crudite zip. Uh, I put it on a, an avocado toast. Today I made avocado um, seeded cracker crisp. <laughs> and um, very high in usable calcium. Excellent, 14% more protein than spinach. More vitamin A, vitamin K than broccoli. Two times the iron is spinach. And let's keep going on. Ooh, sorry. Uh, so foods that help thin out and flush stagnant bile. This is important as well. Beets, that's why beet juice uh, is so powerful to the body as a, and it also has uh, properties in there that help to grab on like a magnet, those toxins and flow them out. Artichokes are excellent. Uh, carrots, again, we already said radishes, apples, the liver loves apples, natural glucose and liver helps to fuel up uh, and apples fuels up the liver, arugula, all the fresh citrus, lemon, lime, grapefruit, aloe vera, juice. Now, what you have to know is that the liver and the thyroid are synergistic relationship. So if you've got a stagnant liver, it's going to contribute to thyroid issues as well because the T4 is converted into the usable T3 by bile in the liver. Uh, that process happens there with the help of other things. But so next week, we're going to talk about my million dollar chocolate chip cookies. Get excited for this. Um, that it's going to be Wednesday, next Wednesday, St. Patty's Day. Um, so I'll be wearing something green, but my cookies here, more fiber and protein, but they still have the soft, chewy texture and they've got probably one quarter of the amount of sugar as my old favorites. Yep. I used to make the tall house cookies all the time, but with no inflammatory flours and refined sugar. Genius. That's what you want guys. So thanks for checking out this week's uh, PowerPoint here. Be sure to check out the Cree program. I highly encourage you if you've been interested or curious about your health, this five day is so easy to jump into and it is supported by other people. It's just one Zoom call a night, so easy with videos. Um, you can also find me on you know, Instagram here, KK's Fit Kitchen or Facebook, both my name and KK's Fit Kitchen. So check out the program. There's a link right to the services to take advantage of the savings. So let's go ahead. I'm going to clean out what I don't need here and just leave what we do to make this amazing recipe. And we'll be right back. We'll put it together. And you'll see how easy it is. Okay, I'm going to show you. Don't even need an apron for this. You can whip it up super duper quick. You don't need to even measure anything because you're just gonna use like a few handfuls of uh, dandelion greens here. I've already rinsed them off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the tops off because I actually like to save the bottoms to either juice or to put into smoothies. I do the bottoms as juicing. I put the more tops in there. So, so I'm just cutting off about two hands full of the dandelion greens. Now, this is the most gorgeous basil. We need, a, we need a good cup of this. So again, a really nice handful. Don't, you can't mess it up if you have a little too much basil or a little, doesn't matter guys. Just put it in there. You can smell. So the smell of basil, those are the plant polyphenols that go to work in your body to help reduce inflammation because they're providing those strong antioxidants that your body requires 
to help calm oxidative stress. It's as simple as that. Now, uh, one lemon, you got to get yourself a lemon squeezer. This is genius. It gets, it gets all of the juice out that you really need. And you can even save because I throw entire lemons into my smoothies because I want the, the uh, oil from the skin. The liver really gets activated by that. That's why they, that's why I suggest to my clients to have their lemon water in the morning. So what that does, because the liver is working early in the morning, around three to four, it's working to clean up. It does its job every day, it kind of resets. And uh, if you're waking up around that time, chances are your liver's having a little stress or it's waking you up. We're gonna put that whole lemon squeeze. If it's a giant lemon, you might not want the whole thing depending on how much you love a lemon. Um, I love garlic, so I'm putting in like about four, four good sized cloves. Now, uh, for seasoning, I like to add a little kelp granulars. If you have this easy extra iodine, for your body. I always add that into different things. A little bit of cracked black pepper is excellent. Uh, I don't salt things too much. I'm just putting in a, a little bit here, all right? And a nutritional yeast. You're gonna love that this, it actually smells a little cheesy and a little buttery. So um, at least a tablespoon, maybe two, depending on how much you like it. And what else do we need? It, it already smells like popcorn from the, uh, from the movie theater. So we need some nuts. I don't have any pine nuts. So instead, we're gonna be using walnuts. You want at least a third of a cup. So I'm putting in some walnuts and I wanna get some Brazil nuts in there too because I want a little extra selenium. You know, just three of these a day is plenty selenium for you. There they are. I get the raw nuts at the store. I keep them nice and sealed. that go through my nuts quite quickly. And we're just gonna finish it off with olive oil. Between a third and a half a cup, depending on what you have in here, you can eyeball it because you're gonna be able to add more as it goes. So, see how easy this is? You just layer it, you're gonna put the cover on and you're gonna press go. All right, so I'm gonna pause as we get this going and we'll be right back. Okay, so what you're gonna do a couple times as it's going, is you're gonna pause it and you are, you're gonna stop it and you're just gonna use your little spatula and you're just gonna scoop this down so it can keep going. And it's okay if your pesto is a little chunky, it's yours, it's good, and it's not going to have to be perfect. We're done guys. Genius, right? So you have just made yourself the most nourishing, easy, quick little recipe. Now get some jars so you have them for your refrigerator. You always want this on hand and you can freeze it by the way. I had this jar frozen for like a month and uh, now we have fresh pesto. I'm just gonna add it to this. Absolutely divine. It gets a little darker as it sits. This is so ooh, <laughs> fresh and fragrant. I'm gonna be making this at my supper club next week. We're gonna be talking about liver health. I'm gonna be stuffing chicken breasts with artichoke hearts. You can actually put mushrooms in there too. I'm also gonna be introducing this to the eco vets. We're doing a special luncheon, taking a lot of really neat things from their, uh, their garden. That's it guys, so be ready for liver season and spring. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you go to my website and check out the Creed program. Message me if you'd like some information on it and please share this with anyone you think will love it. Okay, bye everyone.